The African Trans Trans Transport and Logistics Solutions Provider for Freight Owners is set to purchase uh, Deutsche Bahn AG's 49% stake, aiming to raise $250 million to expand its rail and port development projects in Sub-Saharan Africa. The Deutsche Bahn AG is the national railway company of Germany and a state-owned enterprise under the control of the German government. Velo Group has also announced the expansion of its offering to deliver integrated rail, port and rolling stock, multi-freight, multi-user transport corridors to efficiently move Africa's valuable resources at economies of scale. We're happy to have uh, Mr. Ronnie Ntuli, who's the chairman of uh, Thelo Group, joining us from uh, Johannesburg. Good afternoon to you. Thank you so much uh, for being with us. So um, how does your firm plan to raise that $250 million? Thank you very much. It's a real honor to be on uh, Arise um, News. Um, so, Tello Group, we have already started the process of capital mobilization for the $250 million. Uh, we've initiated discussions with a number of financiers in the South African market, uh, with African multilateral um, uh, finance institutions, uh, and also the broader financing community internationally. Uh, so that process has started. We've had those engagements. We are kind of the usual process of um, supplying all the finances with documentation. So, yes, we've already begun that. Now, as far as, you know, you look at developing rail across the continents, the logistics needs, the infrastructure, um, can you talk about the, the a massive amount of financing when you think about the infrastructure gap that's needed uh, in order to complete these various projects across the continent? A hundred percent. So I think uh, generally most Africans and the global community will accept that um, the continent of Africa is short on infrastructure. Um, the AFDB estimates that between 45 billion and 70 billion uh, US dollar gap in terms of re uh, transportation infrastructure uh, being the gap uh, that number, I suspect, is really related to just to maintain current infrastructure, let alone pent up demand. So the number will be a lot bigger. Uh, if you look at the trade patterns on our continent today, uh, it continues to be bulk uh, resources uh, in the form of agricultural and mineral uh, produce, um, mostly for export in today's uh, continent. Um, and containers and bulk liquids for import. Uh, the most and most of that freight today is being uh, uh, transported inefficiently on road because of lack of infrastructure. Um, the Tello proposition is really that we want to intervene um, to service that market demand, that very clear market demand for more efficient movement of freight. Uh, so our our uh, group is really built on that proposition um, for effective movement of freight. Now we're just looking at a map between um, in southern Africa between Namibia and Botswana. I believe you're if you know, help me out here. I think the Trans Kalahari um, Rail Project. I think you're involved in that and also. Uh, in Ghana as well, the, the Western Rail Line. Can you talk about some of the existing projects that you're currently uh, in, the, in, in talks with to get started on and working on? 100%. So um, our group has been around for over a decade already, focused in the, in the railway sector. Um, where we started, we started by creating what is called the rail, uh, a rolling stock um, financing business. So we acquire locomotives and freight wagons um, and they sit on our balance sheet and we lease them to operators across the continent. Uh, we have trains running already under that business in multiple jurisdictions on the continent. Uh, we then expanded our offering to um, uh, uh, through a partnership with Deutsche Bahn, which is Germany's national railway company, as you mentioned in your introduction. Uh, that business uh, is really intended to um, support development of infrastructure uh, and uh, deliver operational efficiencies. Um, that's the business that we are restructuring today and kind of consolidating our group as an African transportation and logistics champion. 
and then also what you'll recognize is that railways is capital intensive. Uh, we're also creating a new subsidiary called Telo Capital, which is intended to mobilize uh, capital for our um, corridor projects across the continent. So that new consolidated group view uh, will allow us to offer fully integrated solutions for freight owners uh, who are investing on the continent of Africa. That's the first part. But the opportunity is also the Africa Continental Free Trade Area Agreement, which I think we will all accept that unless and until uh, we have effective transportation solutions will be a very difficult dream to realize. So we are also looking at uh, um, the horizon of a, a, a continent that trades within itself uh, needing transportation uh, um, uh, and logistics solutions to move freight at scale. Uh, today we can talk about pit to port uh, as in moving freight from a mine uh, to a port but I think as Africans, we must also dream uh, of a future that moves freight from a mine to a, an industrial processing zone uh, where we can at least do stage two processing and eventually stage three uh, processing. Now, I want to ask you about um, ports, because I, be I believe you're also involved in that. Um, when you think about the opportunity cost of one product or the other and you know, how, where capital can be deployed, how do you prioritize, I guess, between you know, rail and ports? Or is it better to just focus on just one? Or how do you spread that around? Yeah, so um, we have a different view. Uh, the view is that um, freight, if you imagine uh, you're, you're a producer of a product, you are not interested uh, from a transportation and logistics solution point of view. Uh, you're not interested in uh, moving from uh, A to B can't be, uh, you're interested in moving your freight to a particular destination. Uh, in today's Africa, the freight owners are interested in moving their freight to ocean, um, not to a portless destination, uh, so to say. So what we have to offer our clients is integrated, uh, effective uh, solutions that deliver operational efficiencies. So we have to offer an integrated solution to, to our clients. Uh, from that point of view, it has to lead to final destination, so to say. Uh, you are right. It, it brings complexity. It makes it um, technically more intensive uh, and capital uh, intensive. Uh, but that's why our model really emphasizes uh, strategic partnerships. A, a critical partner for us is Deutsche Bahn, uh, the German um, uh, national rail company, uh, possibly the leading integrated global railway company. Um, we have an exclusive strategic partnership with them for the continent of Africa, uh, uh, for sub-Saharan Africa. That's a valuable one. We work with, um, uh, from a mo capital mobilization point of view, we also work with uh, institutions like the Africa Export Import Bank, uh, who in today's world are number one MLA uh, in mobilizing capital into the continent. So to achieve that sort of scale, um, we certainly need to deliver it through uh, partnerships. All right, now, uh, can you talk to us about, the, I guess, the cost challenges, along with some of, these, some of the nations that where these, con where these um, infrastructure projects are being you know, planned have you know, debts, uh, burdens, there's also currency depreciation in emerging markets. Uh, how do you navigate all those, uh, those headwinds? Yeah, very important point, very, very important point. And as an African company, uh, we have to work um, in delivering uh, what we call effective solutions. Uh, that means the financing solutions also have to be oriented uh, effectively for the African situation. Our model um, uh, emphasizes, uh, normally we use special purpose vehicle and we finance these projects. We have uh, proprietary models for financing uh, where we use, uh, um, we, we finance these projects on the ring fence project finance basis rather than encumbering the balance sheets of the governments. Uh, it is doable. It's a model that we advocate for African governments to look at. Um, and, and that way, what you start doing is you deliver infrastructure. You don't encumber the balance sheet of the government. Uh, it's ring-fenced. 
um, and allows for development of the infrastructure, bringing operational efficiencies then allows for the project to be operated efficiently um, and uh, uh, by technical partners that do this across the world and generate revenue uh, to service the liabilities and bring money into the government and jobs and economic development without encumbering the balance sheet of the governments. All right, so you've mentioned the strategic collaboration with uh, Deutsche Bahn. Are, they, are you working on any others um, with respect to you know, the projects you're looking at? Yeah, so uh, from, a, from the perspective of the, the, the port solution, uh, that's a new introduction into the group's offering. Um, in that space, we are uh, in advanced discussions with uh, port partners. Uh, who can uh, help us build uh, solutions for uh, the port solution, uh, the port part of the integrated transportation solution, so to say, yes, 100%. All right, now, can you talk to us about, I guess, the, the time horizon for these uh, projects? Um, are you hoping that they will be completed within a reasonable amount of time, I guess, within you know, the tenure of a particular government that's there. How, how are you working that out as far as the time horizon to get these projects completed? Yeah, uh, again, an important point. Um, you know, in, in these mega projects, security of tenure is very important. Um, we are, uh, you know, we, we work with nation states. Uh, we accept that there's transitions, there's governments um, uh, over time. Our proposition is that we are doing development for a country or a region. We are not. Um, uh, we we don't do politics at all. We are a solution for uh, countries, uh, in spite of what governments lead a particular country uh, or a neighboring country. We really focus on technical solutions, financing solutions, trade solutions, not, uh, we, we don't get involved in politics at all. All right, finally, I mean, this $100 billion infrastructure gap, are you optimistic that over time that can be chipped, chipped away? As a fellow, fellow African, I think it's a must. Uh, I think it's, um, it, it's not an issue of uh, optimism or pessimism. I think uh, as Africans, we have to put shoulder to the wheel and do what needs to be done to ensure that it uh, it closes. Uh, you know, everybody talks about um, the African demographic uh, dividend potentially. Uh, the risk is that if we don't uh, invest in infrastructure, industry, trade uh, and development, that uh, we don't want um, that potential dividend to become a liability. So it's not an option, it's a must. We have to, have to, all of us as Africans must really do the work that is necessary to deliver the infrastructure. All right, Ronnie Ntuli, yeah, chairman of the Thelo Group, thank you so much uh, for talking to us in Arise News about the very important topic of boosting uh, our trade via transport and logistics on the African continent. Thanks for joining us from Johannesburg.